What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. Here we're giving you practical, actionable dating advice. That's not some watered down mainstream bullshit. In this video, we're gonna be talking about a question uh, that one of my viewers had. Um, and he's basically wondering, he brought this girl back home the other night, they were on a date, uh, brought her home, had sex with her, and he was awesome, he's really into her, and they were texting a little bit after, but the text messages started to get farther and farther apart, and then eventually she completely stopped responding to him. He's basically wondering, you know, what happened after that, and what are some strategies and tips that he can use to be, to keep a girl around, basically, after they've slept together. Okay. Well, uh, this is actually a pretty common thing that happens to a lot of guys. So um, when you first start going out and you start getting better talking to people, you're being charismatic. And sometimes you meet a girl that you're really into and you bring her home and you guys have sex and you're really into this girl. And then you text her and she doesn't respond and you don't hear from her again. Okay. When you're in hookup environments, when you're, you know, going out to bars, clubs, you know, people hook up and then they don't talk to each other. That's, that's a lot of times what happens. Um, and men are more often the stereotype for doing this, but women do this all the time too, man. I've been around the block tons of times. I slept with a lot of women and this plenty, plenty of women do this. And this used to happen to me all the time when I was 22 where I would sleep with a girl. I mean, it even happens to me now sometimes uh, where I sleep with a girl um, and that's all that it is, you know. But if this is happening to you repeatedly, where you meet a girl, you like her, and you have sex with her, and then she doesn't, you don't hear from her again, um, you can't keep her around, then there's a problem there. You have to look at the common denominator, and the problem's probably you. However, if this is happening to you repeatedly, then something is up, okay? I would say the first thing, the easiest thing to fix, and what the problem for me was, was make sure your place looks nice, okay? You don't have to be rich. You don't have to have a really like uh, penthouse suite at the top of the, your apartment complex. You don't have to have any of that. Women are looking to see if you take care of yourself. Okay, if you have just a mattress on the floor and your clothes are all spread around and there's freaking shit everywhere, like that's not a good look for you. Okay, women are definitely judging you about how you take care of yourself. They really care about that that area. Okay. That's how my place was when I was 22. A lot of girls didn't want to call me back, which at the time I didn't really care about. I was literally just trying to hook up with anyone that would let me. So if this is happening to you a lot, make sure your place looks nice because she might still sleep with you when you bring her home, but later on she's going to be thinking, uh, you know, I don't really think that, you know, that was kind of fun, but I'm not really into that guy. Like he doesn't really take care of himself. She's going to think that she's dating a child. Make sure your bed is like on, you know, it has a frame, you got curtains, you have a shelf, you, it's, there's some organization to it or some, some sort of like design. Make sure you have that. The second thing is needy behavior. This is going to be a little bit tougher to root out, but it is something that can happen over time. Um, a lot of guys, when they meet a girl that's really hot, they're really, really into them, they subconsciously will start doing needy things. They'll start texting them all the time. They'll think, oh, like, you know, the, the, a lot of guys think that the game is over. After they've slept with a girl, they can say or do whatever they want, and they got her. You know you don't, okay? You still have to put in work. If you act differently from when you met her to after you uh, had sex with her, then she's going to act differently too, okay? You still have to, like, you still have to game her, you know? Like, there's the, the game doesn't end after that. Sure, sure, she's proved that she, you know, likes you in some way, shape, or form, but that doesn't mean that you have it, like, in the bag. So if you could, if you just start texting her a bunch, like, hey, let's hang out, let's do this, like, all this stuff, she's gonna be thinking, like, whoa, like, this guy is, like, getting way too clingy. I don't even know if I like him yet, you know? It was a fun night, but... I don't know if I really want to go down too, too deep into this and she's going to get scared and she's going to run away. So if you meet a girl and you end up sleeping with her and then you think, oh, this is the one, I've, I've found the one, I don't need any of these other girls, you cut off all your other girls that you're talking to and then you just focus completely, you put all your energy on this one girl, you're probably going to scare her off, okay? Because when you met her, what she was attracted to, she was attracted to a guy that seemed like he had options. She was attracted to a guy who was confident, who was, who was uh, self-assured, and you probably lost a lot of those qualities after you start focusing completely on her, okay? You're not at that point yet just because you had sex with her. Wait, 
okay? Keep your options open, see if you guys work out, and then, yeah, hopefully later down the line it does work, but it won't if you completely cut everything off and stop your life to go after this one person just because you've had sex with her and you really like her. The next thing, and this is related to my first point, which is kind of the opposite side of the spectrum, which is there's guys who are too needy and then there's guys who don't even show enough interest after they have sex with somebody. If you've slept with a girl and you don't text her for like two or three days, I don't care who you are, you're an asshole, man. Like, that's not chill. <laughs> even if I don't even think the girl liked me, <laughs> I'll still send her a message or something, okay? The fact is you had an intimate moment with this person, and by you not doing that, she's going to feel used. She's going to feel like she was, you know, just treated like a piece of garbage. Um, she's not going to want to hang out with you, okay? If she has any self-respect. And even if she does hang out with you after that, that's probably not a girl that you want to spend time with, honestly. So after you don't have to go, you don't have to drop all your life and pursue this one person, but you do have to show interest, you know? If you like this girl, let her know that. Let her know that that night was fun. And then maybe try and plan something later on. Don't be like, hey, let's hang out today. Let's hang out the next day. No, 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 okay. Wait, take your time, be patient. She's thinking the same thing too. She's wondering if she's really gelling with you, if she really likes you. But you don't want to give her nothing. You don't want to act aloof and act like you don't care about her. That strategy doesn't work either. I would say this is probably the biggest fear uh, of most guys, but it's probably the one that's, you know, the, the, the least relevant. Um, and that's you being good in bed, okay? This does happen. If you don't perform sexually for her well enough to her liking, there's a, a chance that she might not want to see you again, okay? I would say the reason for this is because not so much your performance, but how you react to it. So I'll give you an example. Like, I'll, let's say you, you go out, um, you guys party together and you get too drunk and then you come back and you can't get it up. A lot of guys will say, oh, well, I couldn't get it up and that's why she doesn't want to be with me. But normally I talk to them about how it went down and normally they just, like, I can see how awkward it is when, like, they couldn't get it up. They feel bad. They feel ashamed. They're like, oh, I suck. And then the girl feels like shit too because she either blames herself or she thinks the guy's a pussy. And neither one of those things makes her feel good. It's a fucking awkward situation and she just wants to get out of it as quickly as possible. And she does not want to have that happen to her at any cost. So she's obviously not going to call you back at that point. If you think me going out all the time and sleeping with as many women as I've slept with, there's been times where I haven't come back too drunk and I couldn't get it up. I mean, you're sorely mistaken, okay? That's happened to me, that's happened to me several times, actually. Uh, but when it's happened to me, when I'm too drunk or, or whatever, um, I make a joke out of it. Like, I think it's hilarious. I'm like, well, sweetheart, like, <laughs> this is what's happening. And then maybe I'll use my hands and my tongue or something like that. Um, but I'm not going to, like, put like pressure on her make her feel bad i still keep the good vibes going like it's still a great time even though we couldn't you know i couldn't stick it in like we're still having we're still hanging out we're still enjoying each other and i think that's still a win in my book and so because i feel like it's a win she feels like it's a win too and i've actually never lost a girl because of that you know um and it's because of the mentality that you have to have behind it and then obviously like you know maybe if she stays over then i'm good to go in the morning or something like that um, so if something like that's happening to you, if you bring her back or you make her feel bad about sleeping with you or bad about the sex that happened, like you came too quickly or something like that, that's another one um, that a lot of guys get down on. If you turn it into like some awkward, weird situation, then yeah, she's definitely not going to call you back. But if you keep the good vibes going and you, if it's okay with you, then chances are it's going to be okay with her too. All right, and the last point that I'm going to make about this, you guys, is that this part of the puzzle is something that a lot of guys who start having success early on when they learn social skills, they learn to be charismatic, confident, have game, talk to women, be able to seduce them. They forget about the final piece of the puzzle and sometimes this is the most important and that's your lifestyle, okay? Women are going to judge you on your lifestyle and they should judge you on your lifestyle. So if you sleep with a girl and your lifestyle is not on point, yeah, sure, she might think it would be fun right then, but she's going to be thinking longer term. She's going to be thinking, oh, if I hang out with this guy again, am I going to be sleeping on his lumpy mattress in the middle of his dirty floor? You know, am, it, you know, is he going to be acting needy towards me? Is he, like, not going to show enough interest or just throw me to the side? Okay, she wants to be with a guy who has his lifestyle on point, okay? And if you're one of these guys that's only worked on your seductive, your, your ability to socialize, those kinds of skills, 
then you're missing out on a huge chunk of the, of the puzzle and you're going to be having these problems repeatedly. So my advice to you guys is make sure your lifestyle is on point. A big part about guys that uh, they get wrong is if you're not on your purpose, if you're not going after something, if you don't have something better to do than one than the one girl that you slept with then you're not a good option for her so make sure that you have a purpose make sure that you have some ambition you're going after things you're doing you're working on yourself make that the number one thing and that will come across and you're going to be you'll see that a lot with a lot of women once they do get to see who you really are they're going to be really really into you as opposed to just think that you're a fun guy that they can hook up with when they're drunk okay so if you want to be that guy Make sure your lifestyle's on point. So thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you have anything that you've seen that uh, women will get repulsed by after they've had sex with you, uh, please put it in the comments section below. Would love to hear it. We can get a discussion going. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or put it in the comments section below too. I read all of them. And um, yeah, if you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching program, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there.